In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Cloud Platform APIs without downloading the command line utility called G Cloud. And this is just a faster way to interface with these APIs. Anyways, let's get started. All right, as you use the um, Google products um, through your own programs or automated jobs or APIs or what have you, you're going to notice that um, you need to authenticate with GCP and oftentimes you're gonna be required to use G Cloud to do that. And G Cloud is a command line utility. I found a way to actually interface with APIs without using G Cloud, so you don't have to download that software, you don't have to configure it, et cetera, et cetera. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I think ultimately it is a faster, easier way to interface with the APIs. So to demonstrate, we are going to use a Google Cloud Storage file, and I'm going to write a local Node.js script to just download that file. And I'll show you how we do it. So if we come over to uh, Cloud Storage, I have all these buckets. And by the way, I think uh, Marie Kondo should create a SQL program about how to organize your digital life because it is vastly more infinite and therefore harder to organize. Anyways, um, that's a tangent. But um, yeah, let's go into my bucket here. So I created this bucket, gcloud demo 223. I uploaded a file called outside.mp4, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, a video um, of uh, where I was staying in Florida for a week. And don't you love that lovely leaf blower sound? Okay, anyways, so how do we download that file via Node.js? Well, we have this little script here. All it does is imports the cloud storage package, which gives us access to all these methods. So we create a cloud storage client, and then the uh, exact function is um, you pass, you, you specify the bucket, you specify the file name, and then uh, you provide the output file name. So let's go ahead and grab our bucket name. That's going to be this guy here. And then our file name is just going to be outside.mp4. And let's just give this a whirl. So I'm just going to execute this program doing node and then supplying the program name. And let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to get an error here that says unable to de detect the project ID. Essentially, it doesn't know who we are. And you cannot just make anonymous requests to people's GCP accounts. So we didn't authenticate ourselves, and therefore we were blocked. Now, it looks like it downloaded the file, but if I do ls-l, you can see it's actually file size zero. So it, in fact, did not download the file. All right, so the way we uh, authenticate is by using a service account. So if you go over to Identity and Access Management and then click Service Accounts, you can just create a new service account. We'll call it gcloud demo 445. And then just for the sake of brevity here, I'm just going to give it access as a viewer to all resources. I need to update, that's fine, click Continue. Okay, so now I have a service account called gcloud demo 445, but how do I use that locally? Well, you create some keys, you create some JSON keys. So I'm just doing manage keys, create new key, type JSON. We will save this to my desktop. I'll call it gcloud demo tutorial. Okay, so now this is the magic of it all. So what you want to do is when you're executing your file, you can preface it by defining this environmental variable here. And this is just a absolute path pointing to our service account. So I believe it was gcloud demo tutorial.json. And that's all you got to do. So I'm going to come back over to the command line and we're gonna give that a shot. Okay, and it actually looks like that command actually terminated, so this looks more promising. So let's just go ahead and validate that we in fact did download our file. So it should be right here, and it looks like it is. 
lovely leaf blower is back. Anyways, so that's how you can circumvent downloading uh, the gcloud command line utility. And I've found this to be very useful in a lot of the projects I'm working on. If you like this video and you're hacking on stuff like this, but maybe have some issues, just keep in mind that I offer micro consulting. Uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up through that and I've had a lot of successes that we've done like site migrations and kind of some bespoke work. So that is available to you in the description below. Thanks for listening.